He will be in the red singlet. Ria Waida off the momentum of a win in Sydney, Australia at the Challenger Series level. will get his campaign underway. And it looks like lefts are going to play the part for the story as the tide starts to move in here at the Bathers Bank in Belido. Quite a grunty swell that got us to frame up the quarterfinals yesterday afternoon. That wind has flattened it down a touch, but nothing wrong with that turn from Rio Waida as he comes back into picture. His second counting wave is going to go into his scorecard and it's going to perhaps start heating this semi-final up. Prior to that, just a one-pointer for the Indonesian. It's uh, top to bottom beaches, uh, solid sandbar. You can see square off the bottom, closed out turn there. So one maneuver wave there for Rio and... Uh, We'll see a different angle here. You can see he leans in on that inside rail. There's no bog. There's a nice clean transition into that closeout re-entry. And he finishes on his feet, which the judges love to see. And back to live action. Back into picture. Rio Waida on the way out from that big closeout slam. We'll just squeeze another tapered left wall in the lineup here. Like I said yesterday, Keanu had some errors of his own. And uh, we'll see what we're talking about here with uh, Rio's second wave. You can see a nice stab to get things going. The wall tapers out, so a little bit slopey here. And unfortunately, he really couldn't capitalize on a, on a, a dramatic end turn, uh, a la Keanu Singh. Here's the first one for here. You can see it leans into a body-shaped talking, uh, the power around there. And then this wave gets a little bit flat. So he digs a little bit of a rail there, tries to get the completion. And uh, all the score will be in that first turn for Rio. Quite detailed shifts in weight as well for that uh big closeout turn and we're expecting a reasonable number for that we don't have it yet as Keanu is saying we'll inquire and see if he can get wave number two going a little bit of a broken lip and he'll sort of just wrestle into it he'll slam into the end section so two maneuvers to make up the second ride in the lineup for Keanu is saying here in semi-final number one inside out just turned that one inside out it's not going to fetch a huge number and then, well, of course, this first soft part of the wave, a yeah. better ending for Keanu. Yeah, that was just to get into that section over there. You can see that's uh, what Keanu is seeing is so strong at. He, he just jumps over the section, a little bit of a, of a dig, but now he's primed for the section. You can see he leans the body into it, and he puts all that pressure on the back foot, which allows... Well, the fit an energized looking Keanu is seeing in 2022, looking for perhaps a slot in the final. Someone that's had a taste of finals is this man. And well, lovely oh. combo. And just as we start, that's so greasing that one up. He'll just go down, Brad. So a little error there. A little look from the priority, but he'll let it go. And Rio Waida will get back to work. Came unstuck on his last roll of the dice. And there is the air element. An incomplete. So two incompletes in a row here. As uh, we move further into the first semi final, another wave in the set for Keanu to let go a turn. Swings it around, pivots the tail, now accelerates again, just carves it in front of his opponent. And just a little tapered wall in the bay here at Bathers. But efficient work from Keanu Singh, who'll post a third ride for us as we hit the 21-minute mark. Not sure if it's pressure or if it's just that Keanu uh, just has this aura about him, so calm and collected and slowly building scores. Well, we know the lethal backhand that can take down many of the world's best. Little inside left-handers, they've been honed in the Koala Basin in Honolulu and Hawaii for years and years. And, well, Keanu now 29 years of age, looking polished, looking fit, and looking focused in 2022. And uh, perhaps hanging out Tyler Gunter, I think it was, in the finals. Let's have a look at action in the semifinals of the Melita Pro. There it is to the air. That's the one we've been waiting for. We asked the question a couple of minutes back, what's going to start bringing separation? And, well, Rio Waida, for the first time of perhaps many, over the next hour or two, has gone to the air. Slipping under the 20-minute mark, 17.45 to go. Let's break this one down. Yeah, winding down with the speed. You can see a perfect little ramp for him there. Gets the rotation beautifully. And the whole art of the air reverse is making sure that your fins land towards the beach with enough uh, momentum that once they dig in there, you see they grab now, and he puts his nose, his uh, front foot uh, towards the front of his nose. Plenty of time remaining here in semi-final number one as another roll of the dice now for heat leader. Rio Waida goes straight to the air again. He does those in his sleep, and he'll just crack that one out. His last one, by the way, in at a 6.4. So numbers slightly edging ahead for the Indonesian. Yeah, so here we go. I think this is the uh, second one here from Rio. You can see he uh, puts the uh, board facing out towards the beast. Nice projection on that air reverse. A bit of a different section to work with there. Yeah, we'll uh, break that one down. He's just finding these little right-hand bowls, just one maneuver waves, and he's converting every section. Here goes Keanu. 
Well, Keanu's going to look to the right-handers. He's been bringing his scores. <laughs> and he'll go for it as well. We love it. Oh, yes, so little good. fist claim as well. Looks obliquely across to the judges' panel and goes, well, hey, you know what? I'm not left out of the topic. I'm not left out of the discussion. Having a little look over his shoulder, he's saying, you know what? If you can do it, so can I. I'm not going to be left out of this conversation. Finds the ball. Hits it up, gets a little touch on the rail there, and also gets his revert out nice and clean. But uh, we'll hold that thought. <laughs> well, it's going to be rapid fire now. The judges, and in and out, just to uh, create a breathing space. Judges will owe us scores for last of Rio Waida. Well, the previous for the air. Well, Rob, it's great to have you with us. We'll just track down to the action here. Nine minutes to go in the first semi-final. We saw per perhaps, uh, Brad, a equipment change taking place there for Rio Waida. South Africa was kind to me in a lot of ways. Um, we got up and riding, uh, out. Uh, yeah, so really, gigs, you know, it's um, it's just one of those places really special for me. When my dad finished World War Two, And uh, Rob, uh, you mentioned making the finals of the Gunston 500 back in 1990. I'll just track some live action with you. Of course, you were on the show with us. Keanu goes back to the what? air. Oh, almost a complete. Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty wild days. Well, we've got a couple more questions to up, throw Rob. at you, Rob. We'll just see Keanu as Singh, who is down in that second place position and chasing now a bigger requirement, Brad, of a 751. He's going to obviously lean on that backhand skill. We know that it can beat some of the world's best. But uh, still around five and a half minutes to go for Keanu as Singh as we just catch up with the current situation out in the lineup for semi final number one. He posts a few clips and images every now and then. He's got a solid front side car on him. This is what we missed uh, during the break. Keanu is seeing a big tail high air reverse ha -ha! attempt, and he loved it. He's loving it. He's asking the question of the judges. Well, have a look at this one now. Who says Keanu is seeing cannot go to the air? Watch this. Finds the perfect ramp section. Gets the tail up nice and high, pointed towards the beach. Yeah, this is the one uh, right behind Keanu seeing a bigger wave here for Rio. Look at this section, big wall, projects, didn't get too much height, but definitely got some distance across that section. And look where he lands, right in front. A 693 just nudges the scorecard a little bit ahead. And Rio Waida, for the second time in 2022, is going to make a finals on the Challenger Series Tour.